uh, the exact same concepts that I talked about the maxillary incisors applies for the mandibular incisors. So in regards to film placement, when I'm placing the film and I'm trying to determine if I can image all six of the incisors together or perhaps I'll have to do three at a time for our larger patients, looking at the way the sensor is balancing on these canine teeth like this, I'm confident that I'll be able to image all six of those incisors in one x-ray. So what I'm going to do with my cone is I'm going to have it low enough so that it's centered in the middle of all six of those incisors like so and then this is a tooth at the front so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand at the patient's side to find my long axis of the tooth and then I'll know right away what edge of the film I need to use. So standing at the patient's side you're going to remember that the incisors curve into the skull so here's my long axis of the tooth root I see the edge of the film that I need to use, so halfway in between is here. Okay, so what you're going to do then is look at the position of your cone, and ideally what you want is your stick to be flush with the end of your cone, and then you know you're aimed at your bisecting angle.